Today we have agreed the Atlantic Declaration, a new economic partnership for a new age, of a kind that has never been agreed before. Yes, a partnership that protects our citizens, but more than that, a test case for the kind of reimagined alliances President Biden has spoken so eloquently about. And that means new investment. This week alone, £14 billion of new American investment has been committed into the UK, creating thousands of jobs. It means stronger supply chains with a new action plan on clean energy. And it redu means reducing trade barriers in the technologies of the future with a new secure UK-US data bridge helping tens of thousands of small businesses, an agreement to work towards mutual recognition of more professional qualifications in areas like engineering, and we're launching negotiations on a new critical minerals agreement. Once concluded, this will give UK companies stronger access to the US. Today, we're releasing a new plan to equip our economic partnership for the 21st century. It outlines how we can enhance our cooperation to accelerate the clean energy transition, that must take place and is taking place, lead the development of, of emerging technologies that are going to shape so much of our future, and protect technologies critical to our national security. And a key piece of that is working together to strengthen our critical mineral supply chains and to make them more resilient so we're not dependent on any one country to meet our goals. When it, came, when it comes to technology, that will shape the future, like semiconductors, quantum computing, artificial intelligence. The UK and the US are working together to make sure they are developed safely and responsibly and jointly. We're going to do more on joint research and development to ensure the future we're building remains fundamentally aligned with our value set in both our countries. And we're doing more to prevent technologies that are are invented and developed in our countries from being used for, for military or intelligence purposes by countries that do not share our values.